Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV, my name is Alex, I'm standing with Ricky outside Anfield after a 4-1 loss against Liverpool. Um, Ricky, this is your first fan cam in a while, why did you feel the need, because usually I have to drag you here, you waited, you wanted to say something, I mean what do you want to say after that? I mean I've been to every game this year, um, home and away, bar the Middlesbrough away and um, I wouldn't say it was the worst performance this season. I have seen worse. I still think the Forest at home was a really bad performance. Um, for me, that was probably the worst of the season. It was just there was no cohesion tonight, and there was a lack of fight. We're at Anfield. This is one of the biggest games of the season, you know. Regardless, especially with the rivalry that we've had in the last 10, 15 years now since the Mourinho, you know, days and the original Mourinho days. So there's a lot. Of players out there that got to look at themselves and think, what's going on? What, what, you know, why are we not putting our foot in? I thought Connor and Cole always step up. I thought they were both a bit off it today as well. Personally, I did think Connor was off it and he got hooked at half time, and it shows. Um, I'm still going back to what I thought early in the season. I don't know if Caicedo and Enzo can actually play together in the midfield. They just don't seem to gel. And it's hard for, obviously, Poch as well. He, how is he supposed to bench? I think early in the season, he, he probably wanted to leave both of them out of the squad, let alone the team, out of the actual squad. And how is he justified getting away with, you know, £230 million on the bench or even not even in the squad? So there's obviously possibly pressure from above that he's got to have him in the squad, in the team. I just don't know. Mudrick again, I mean, he made his debut here last year, I believe, yeah, uh, off the top yeah, of my head. It was a very good debut. He didn't do too bad, yeah, he didn't do too bad. I mean, but again, that was a you know promising start, but I've seen nothing from him. And he wears the number 10 shirt. And how, how, how would you rate his development since he's been at Chelsea? At a 10, with 10 being the best, I'd say two. That bad? Yeah, I think I think he for me um, he's close to being like actually see you later. I don't want you in this team or squad. And people keep telling me that we need to give him time. He's been here a year now. I don't see any fight from him. I really I don't see a footballing brain from Mudrick personally. Yeah. I've seen so many times where he's had the ball in space. He could have gone to the left where there's no one there. He, he does a little shimmy, comes back to the right and runs into two defenders and loses the ball. And he did a bit of similar things tonight as well towards the end of the game when we were sort of out of it. But again, it was just like it was a hard going performance for the fans today. We've travelled all this way. It's a you know it's a midweek game. It's a late finish as well for everyone, and it was just no fight and no desire, and that's what kills it for fans. I think and for us guys, we spend all the money and, and the time and the devotion to come and see these guys play, and we have been blessed in the last 25 years with. You know Roman's teams and the managers that he's had for us, and and the squads that we've had, and the trophies that we've won. I mean, my only thing is that, all right, take the loss here. Liverpool are a good side. I think they've gone top of the league again today after that performance. Um, they're going to be in the top two at the end of the season, along with City. I think personally, I think it's, it's one of them two again. Um, but let's go to the Carabao Cup final and do them. And that will cheer us up because that will be a trophy under Poch's first season. I still think I'm, I am in the Poch camp of keeping him going and we need to give him time. He has made some weird uh, team selections. I thought today's selection was very, let's play for a draw. You know, with Cole Palmer up front. I thought there wasn't that much, that let's go out and give him a game. I thought it was like, yeah, let's come out, see if we can get a draw, take it, you know, and take the point and run off. We obviously, after their, I thought their first goal was Amble, I was right behind it, um, and I thought um, Diego or Ambled it before obviously VAR said no. I thought the Conor Gallagher um, won it the other end at 0 0. Before that, I thought that was a foul. So, you know, we get nothing off the refs again, and we do stuff we do. They, If they do it, gets away with it, we do, we get you the cards and stuff. So, I don't know, you know, standard referee this year has been a bit shocking anyway, but, but you've got to look at ourselves, forget the referees, we got to make movement. Up front, there was hardly any movement. It was good to see Cuckoo come on second half. Thought he did okay. I didn't think he was brilliant, but he scores. And we always, you know, if that's what we want, and we need that, we need somebody to score. That's it. So um, that's really good to, 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 for him to be able to come in and do that. And hopefully now he, he can stay injury-free for a little while and we go on a little run with him scoring goals. But 
it's, it's, it's what Poch is saying. It's like, you know, one step forward, two steps back in a minute. And it's um, it's hard going for us as fans. So we'll see what happens going forward. But, you know, um, I, mean, I, I mean, basically, the, the overriding feeling is this doesn't mean much as long as we're in the cup. But if we lose yeah. this and then lose the cup yeah. final, I mean, it's just it's just not good enough. So it, it isn't. And so I think we're being asked to move. So probably on that note. <laughs> thank you, Alex. Good to see you. Ricky. Good to see you. Up